Good morning guys. So today I'm actually going to work on my car. It's a 2016 Golf R and I have an issue. My uh, The drain from AC is not actually draining. So uh, we're going to strip this area here. This is a common thing on a pretty much every car that has a AC. And uh, yeah, first we start. Uh, let me get some light here. We will start uh, by uh, taking the screws off. We will have one here, and one here, and then everything should fall apart. Which we already did. I think someone actually worked there at some point. Because this screw, I found it under my mat. So, uh, yeah, we take these screws out, this slides up and out and after we remove the screw this slides down and we should find like a like a plastic or something like a plastic frame that holds the footrest that we need to unbolt it to actually uh, reveal the, the drain the rubber drain so yeah let me let me get the screws out or the screw because one like I said it's off and uh, I'll get back to you. So yeah, with the uh, T20 Torx, we remove the screws, which I already did. Is uh, the long one was actually from here, and uh, the short one is from the footrest. So uh, yeah, we just lift this up, something like this. If you see, he actually um, needs to slide up, so uh, it will release. So, uh, yeah, get this off. Okay, this off. Not sure what is actually, oh, okay. This is actually holding it. You see, these two clips. And uh, and now this is actually the pretty much everything what you find on a car that has a yellow plug is uh, airbag related seat belts crash sensors so be careful around this area try not to unplug it if it's not in your way because you'll have uh, airbag errors and then you'll need a tester or a diagnostic machine. But I was talking about this frame, which has a has a screw here, a plastic screw actually with 10 millimeter socket, and another one on top here. And you can actually see it here in the back. This is the drain from the AC radiator interior one. So yeah, let me get those off, and then uh, I'll get back to you. <clears throat> All right. So I took the screws off. There are actually three of them. There's one here, one here, and one here. So, <clears throat> I kind of find already what was the problem. Instead of actually draining the water out, he was putting it inside the car, that's why it's so smelly here, you see, not only that it's unplugged, it's actually snapped from here, so uh, I really have two options, to change the whole thing, a new one, which goes all the way to the radiator, or bodge it up, meaning putting some some glue or sealer around it here, which I think that will be my option. Well, because it's my car, and I don't want to spend that money, which I'm sure it's it's not cheap, being a part that is not really requested, and it's a lot of work. So, uh, hmm, I was not expecting that. 
It's not such an old car. And doesn't look like someone was here. I think because I have a sport sub suspension, that's why all my screws are falling off. So uh, I'm blaming that. But this, this is actually broken. Okay, so I'll do some uh, DIY magic here and put some, really don't know what is best here. Some glue, some plastic glue. Don't think so because it's metal and rubber. I think I'll put some tiger seal and see what happens. Well, stay with me, guys. <clears throat> right. So, uh, let me find a place for this. I'll use uh, some tiger seal. I usually use this for uh, body kits or uh, some modifications, but. Uh, Today we're just going to glue that. It's from Upol. I will not show you the um, the canister, so people will not think that uh, I'm sponsored or I'm making advertising. So it's just that. That's the name. Uh, Tiger seal. So yeah, we're going to put some around it. I'm using the manual disperser because the R1 is uh, a bit messy. <coughs> and it's big, I will not have enough room to put it inside here. Strange because it's actually clipping in. I heard the clicks. So, uh, I have no idea how that thing came out. I probably pushed my 12 size foot too hard on the, on the footrest and actually move it, which I doubted, but I need to blame someone, so that could be only me. So, yeah, that was pretty much it. A bit. A bit messy, but uh, cost effective. Cheap, let's say, like that. Well, I hope this will uh, help help someone because this is a, actually a common thing on golfs. <clears throat> leaking drain or block drain or uh, rear uh, speakers seal that I had and I did exactly the same thing I took them off cut the rivets because they use rivets probably cheaper and uh, I put tiger seal around put it back put again rivets and uh, yeah no more water I had in the back here down was everything full of water so yeah just take the door uh, cover off I'm sure I have a, a video somewhere on my channel and uh, yeah it's just a job strip glue refit back yeah I hope you enjoyed guys and uh, like and subscribe the video and see you later.